Okay, this presentation is uh, following the energy work power video. So make sure you've watched that one. And now we're going to talk about work. In the previous one, we talked about, uh, previous presentation, we talked about energy and defined uh, types of energy and conservation of energy. Now we're gonna talk more specifically about work. And work's a funny term because we use it you know, every day. We're going to work. We're gonna go do a workout. Uh, and we use it in physiology where we talk about uh, work done, aerobic work is a common term to use. So uh, we're gonna go through the mechanics of work. All right, so let's let me share my screen. All right, so I'm going to focus in specifically on the mechanics of work. And if you're in 457, 657, if you've taken it or will take it, we'll talk about aerobic work a bit more. So just a different perspective of, uh, of work being done. So work from a mechanical perspective is a force acting on an object that causes the object to move through some displacement. All right, so the key here is two things. There needs to be a force and there needs to be movement of the object. If there's no movement, there's no work done. If there's no force, there's no work done. We need those two things. Now, the general form of this equation is F D cosine theta. And the cosine theta is simply indicating that the di direction of the force and the direction of the displacement need to be in the same direction. Remember, both of these parameters are, um, are, are vectors, All right? So uh, this equation, the cosine theta, simply tells us that um, it's, a, it, it's a way to make sure that the force and the displacement are in the same direction. So F is magnitude of force, displacement is D, and theta is the angle between the force and displacement. In fact, here's a picture of that. Uh, the units of uh, work, okay, this gets a little confusing, but it's important to, to know. Force are units um, of Newtons, displacement are units of meters, so Newton meters, and cosine theta. Theta is units of radians. And remember, radians are unitless. So we actually drop them from the analysis. They're, uh, distance over distance uh, and when you calculate a radian in a circle. Uh, so they're, they're unitless. So the units of, the base units of work are Newton meters. However, we already use Newton meters to represent torque. And Newton meters in this context is not torque. And it has nothing to do with torque. All right? So to avoid that confusion, we actually use the same units of energy for the units of work. And you'll see why in, in, uh, in just a little bit. So work and energy share the same units of joules. All right, so here's just an example of a um, picture or cartoon of, of an object with a force being applied to it. And it's being moved over some uh, displacement or some distance. And we're able to uh, then look at the amount of work done on the object. <coughs> oh, excuse me done on the object to, um, to move the object. Now, that red line, oh, yeah, I, I lost part of my picture there. Uh, that red line represents the parallel component of the force vector that's in the same direction as the displacement vector, okay? That's what the cosine theta does, is, uh, is uh, identifies the component of the force vector that's in the same direction as the displacement. Yeah, there's the rest of the picture. Okay, so in um, a more general way that I'll often refer to work is just, I'll just say FD, meaning that uh, those two uh, vectors are in the same direction. All right, so here's some interesting ways that we, some phrases that we need to start talking about and using. When work is done on an object, energy is transferred to that object from the object causing the force, okay? So this is, remember, work energy and power are mathematical concepts and they work because they work. And this is, this is an example of something we would say 
relative to uh, or in, in using the term work is work is done on an object. When we say work is being done on an object, what we're talking about is we're transferring energy from one object to another. Remember, a totally different way to approach problems of, uh, of movement uh, versus a Newtonian approach. Newtonian approach, we're using Newton's three laws of motion. Using an energy concept or energy approach, we're going to be using the terms work, energy, power that are all interrelated mathematically, right? So uh, when we use the term work, we would say work is done on an object. And what we're meaning conceptually is we're transferring energy from one object to another. So in this case, wherever the force is being applied from, maybe it's me pushing, I'm transferring energy from me to the object. Another example is looking at the, uh, a golfer. Okay, this is a little easier to, um, to see. Here we have the golfer holding a club and the golfer is gonna swing the club and impact the ball. There's a couple of different things that are going on here. First, energy in the golfer is being transferred to the club. It's moving the club or the golfer is moving the club or applying a force to the club causing the club to swing in an arc. So the golfer applies a force to the club to move it. All right. Now, the other part that happens here, and that's the other picture is the club does work on the golf ball. The energy in the club is transferred to the ball and the ball ultimately moves. So the club applies a force to the ball to move it. So we have this uh, transfer of energy from the golfer to the club to cause the club to move, and then from the club to the ball to make the ball move. All right. And again, this is all math, and we can look at the energy at any moment in time, and the amount of energy at any moment in time is the same as energy at, at a, the next moment in time. But what's happening is the energy is transforming from different forms. Okay. And that's what we're ultimately going to get to. All right, so, uh, oh, that, that's just my quick summary. Um, this is just a quick presentation on work. Work is the application of a force over a distance. And again, I use the, gen, the simple form often where I just say FD, where F and D are parallel vectors. The more general form, the more correct form is FD cosine theta, where F is Newton's, B, uh, Distance or displacement is uh, in meters and cosine theta, theta is in radians and are unitless. And so the base units of work are Newton meters, but we'll use the units of joules. And let me just back up just to summarize this part. Uh, what we need to get to is understanding how to use the terms work or term, the term work correctly when we're talking about movement and it's representing transferring energy from one form, from one object to another, so not So just to avoid confusion, there's transforming energy from one form to another, and there's transferring energy from one object to another. And the transferring of energy may involve transforming energy from one form to another. All right, so we'll do a little bit of mental gymnastics with work energy power. But uh, hopefully this helps with at least getting the basis of uh, work done. Okay, thanks.